my name is Ashley Floyd and I'm an engineer with the Department of the Navy and people call me like Rockstar Ashley, right? So I'm Rockstar Ashley bringing you a rock star, but this one is like a, something special and near and dear to my heart. Lily here is going to introduce herself and we're going to go into why because she actually works at a shipyard. Like what? What is that? Lily, tell us who you are. Tell Hi. us a little bit about yeah. yourself. I'm Lily. Um, I'm 24 years old. I work at the Ports of Naval Shipyard um, up on the seacoast in New, uh, New England. And yeah, I'm a mechanical engineer there. I love it. It's right on the water. It's a great place to be. Right. So, so okay. So a shipyard actually has ships there. Like, what do you guys have up there? Yeah. It's, it's so we have mostly submarines. Sometimes like a surface ship will bop around. But yes, we do uh, the overhaul of submarines. So, oh yeah, overhaul. So that's probably like fi fixing them up, right? Yep, yep, exactly. So, okay, so, okay, you work at a shipyard and that is like something amazing because like, I don't think most have ever seen like ships and submarines for the Navy in person. Like, what do you do? Of course, you know, tell us what you can tell us because we know it can get a little sensitive right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I actually work on the rescue vehicles for the Navy. So basically they're oh. like mini submarines that can go down um, they can dive down to depths of like 2,000 feet and they can rescue people off of the big submarines in case they sink. So they're basically like little underwater robots, but they can hold like 18 people um, and dive super deep. All right. So how did you get into this? What is your major? Like, how did you get into like working on baby submarines? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I studied mechanical engineering at the University of New Hampshire. Um, and I was always pretty interested in undersea technology. Um, so yeah, I saw a poster in the engineering building um, with information about the SMART scholarship. And as a freshman, I just decided to go for it and apply. Didn't have any engineering experience, but since then I've been interning at the shipyard and now I'm full-time, so I'm learning so much. So we've heard that the SMART scholarship, they pay for tuition, they pay for a stipend, and they give you money for books. So, but but what happens after that? So like, so I have to like, like go to boot camp afterwards and I gotta like put on a uniform. What happens after the SMART scholarship? Yeah, no, nothing like that. Basically what happens is while you're still in school, they set you up with internships at your facility. And the internships are like any normal engineering job. Um, you sit, I sat at a cubicle and I have my computer and I have my coworkers right there. Um, and it was very similar to my peers that went to other industries for jobs. But yeah, when I first signed up and I realized I got it, uh, my grandma called me and she was like, oh, are you like going to have to put on a uniform and like go down onto the boats and go to boot <laughs> camp? And it ended up being nothing like that. So it's just like a normal engineering job. And Basically, the way it works after you graduate is that you end up working at your facility um, at least the amount of time that they gave you the scholarship. So ah. my scholarship was for two and a half years. So my contract at my facility now, the shipyard in Portsmouth, is for two and a half years. And then so, I can choose to stay or, you know, do something else in the Navy. Or Yes, yeah, so that's cool. So pretty much you work, you work at the shipyard for two and a half years and say if you want to go to San Diego, you can work at a shipyard there. If you want to yep. go to Florida, you can work at the Navy down there. Or you can go wherever you want after that, right? Yeah, after the two or after your, you know, contract period, you're basically free, free to go at that point. Um, but I know a lot of people end up staying because like you said, you can go somewhere else, you can stay at your current job. Most of my coworkers that weren't in the Smart Scholarship but work there have been working there since they graduated. So they really like it. For me, it made a huge impact on my college experience. Um, a lot of my friends were scrambling every summer to get internships and I knew exactly where I'd be going. And my coworkers, I got to see them year after year. And finally, when I came full time, um, and it made the transition to full-time work much easier for me because I already knew my coworkers. I had been out on trips with them to San Diego as an intern, and I'd gotten to know them in, in and out of work. Um, so it was a nice feeling to be able to go full-time after. Um, it also yeah. allowed me to kind of focus on other things in college. So I got to really focus on my studies because I wasn't worried about trying to get an internship or job after um, and also just grow as an individual in college. I got to participate in a lot of clubs and sports because um, a lot of the stress of being in school was taken off having the SMART scholarship. What? Okay, so you just saw a poster randomly in the hallway saying, hey, we got internships here, scholarship <laughs> programs here. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, I knew it would be a long shot, but I figured it was worth a try. And yeah, they, it was a pretty easy process. You know, you just fill out the application and get references and I figured it didn't hurt to give it a shot. But why, why did you think it was a long shot? Like, don't, weren't you born <laughs> for this? Yeah, no, I grew up uh, in Massachusetts and I didn't really know much about the Navy at all. And I didn't really do anything engineering related in high school. I really liked science and math, but I figured to be an engineer, you kind of had to work on cars or you had to really like Legos when you were a kid. So I don't know. I, I just kind of decided let's try out the engineering thing. And sure enough, there's so many different options for jobs, places to work, and there's really a place for everyone in engineering. So did you actually, so you say you didn't like, you didn't really do Legos, right? You didn't really weren't into cars or anything. So like, what made you want to be an engineer? Like when you were growing up at 10 years old, you say, oh, now I want to do engineering? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've always been pretty interested in math and science and I did better in those than like history class. Um, but I have a lot of friends that didn't love math and they're engineers now too. But either way, so I, I really liked math and science um, and I was always interested in new technologies and kind of like designing things. I thought that would be pretty cool to work on, you know, new, new technology. Um, so I kind of did some research and it seemed like mechanical engineering, there was a lot of different, it was kind of a broad major. So I had a lot of options moving forward and yeah, from there it's been history, I guess. Wow, like that is so, so like, do you actually get to get on the baby submarines? Yeah, actually, as an, yeah, as an intern, I got to go out to San Diego on a trip with my coworkers, and we actually got to crawl around the inside of one, which was really cool. So wait, so you're telling me on your internship, they flew you out to San Diego and you actually, so you didn't even work there yet. Yeah, no, I was brand new. I think I had been working there for like maybe a month at that point as an intern. And I got the opportunity to go out with my coworkers and it was a great time. I learned so much and got to work on or see the thing that we worked on every day hands-on, which was cool. Wow, wow, that is, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, okay, so if you could go back and like tell, tell your high school self, you know, something that could like impact your career, like what would that be? I think that I would tell myself um, kind of like we talked about, like, there's no one size fits all for an engineer. Um, and as long as you work hard and you're interested in math, science, or technology, then really you have the world at your fingertips. There's so many opportunities. Um, and yeah, and also I would tell myself to kind of start looking at the Navy for careers. I didn't know anything about the Navy in high school. And now I'm just learning more and more every day, even through programs like Naval Horizons, um, seeing all of these different technologies and different types of engineering you can do, whether you're running tests on submarines or driving these underwater robots or maybe looking at aerodynamics of, bo of boats. There's just so many opportunities and you know, different things that excite everyone. So, okay, so what about if someone was like apprehensive? Because you said, you know, you thought it was a long shot. And it's like, I see here, some of these com programs can be very competitive. Like, what would you say to someone that like maybe didn't make it for the first time? Yeah, I would definitely tell people who are maybe tentative about applying that there's absolutely no risk in trying. Um, I was really yeah. surprised when I got my scholarship as a freshman, because like I said, I had taken one engineering class. I had taken calc. Um, I didn't really feel qualified at all. But, you know, SMART, the scholarship program recognizes people that work hard, you know, you have potential. And if you have a genuine interest, then they'll recognize all of that. Um, I also have friends that, you know, they applied and they didn't get it their first time, but they ended up getting it their second or their third try. Well, that's good. Yeah. And doing, you know, just doing the process gives you a lot of practice in applying. And for me, even if I hadn't gotten the scholarship, the skills I gained just going through the process of it all, you know, getting my resume tuned up, going to these interviews, um, asking for references, I ended up getting really close with my advisors through the process. So it was a super net positive experience for me just through the application process. I appreciate you for taking the time to interview and um, to talk with us today and uh, just share your experiences because how cool is that? 
working at a shipyard, getting to do some amazing technology and work on some great things, and also even getting to travel and have fun during your internship. So yeah, I, I can't wait for all that to start up again um, for the next interns and, and the next smart students so they can all have those great experiences that you have today. Definitely. So yeah, so thank you for sharing that with us and uh, we appreciate you. Um, and I, I hope this changes someone's life. So thank yeah, you so awesome. much. Thank you so much for having me today, Ashley.